Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about 10, 18 rated movies that I grew up with as a child. Um, so yeah, um, these are just 10 movies that for whatever reason I just sort of grew up with and they all of these movies played a massive part in my love of movies growing up as a child. And yeah, so these are all 18 rated movies. I'm not advocating that if you're under 18 watching this video that you should go out and watch these movies. These are just movies that I came across growing up. Um, some of these movies I watched as young as seven. And some of them really traumatised me. And I'm going to get into that because each one of these movies... Although I may not have watched these movies in full growing up and just seen you know snippets or some of these movies... I have, uh, some of them I actually have watched in full. But yeah, I'm just going to get into it. Each one's got a sort of story behind it for me growing up, so... Yeah, as I said, these are all 18 rated movies, and yeah, I, I love them all. I think all these movies belong in any collector's collection. And yeah, I'm going to get straight into it. Um, There's not really a ranking to this. It's just sort of 10 movies that were just really big and influential for me growing up and had a massive profound effect on me. So yeah, going to get into it with... I guess the first movie that I'm going to pick so I'm picking Wes Craven's Scream um, so yeah I was about 8 years old when I watched this movie um, I absolutely loved it um, the The opening was absolutely terrifying to me um, it was one of the scariest things I'd ever seen as a kid the way that sequence ends as well absolutely horrified me um, the twist in this movie I thought was spectacular, I didn't see it coming at all. I think as eight years old I just hadn't seen an, a, you know, near at the amount of movies that I've seen today. And the twist was just absolutely exceptional and I just absolutely enjoyed it so much. Um, and yeah, it was just a fantastic horror film from Wes Craven that I just absolutely enjoyed so much. I grew up on a lot of these slasher movies as well and this one, you know, even that at eight years old I knew that this movie was something special and it was injecting new life and bringing you know a breath of fresh air to the genre and it was just absolutely spectacular and I loved to scream um, growing up even though that, that opening was just terrifying to me um, yeah I can watch this movie you know countless times you know in the, in the modern day it's just absolutely brilliant so that's my first choice Wes Craven's Scream so coming in next for me is a movie I didn't actually watch till I was about 15 um, but my sort of discovering this movie for the first time again I was about 8 years old um, and that movie is John Carpenter's The Thing so yeah discovering this movie I was about 8 years old uh, I was in America at the time uh, in Florida Universal Studios and I was at this uh, special effects show and it was very much like a, a, a Tom Savini style of show that I was at and we were, we were shown clips from all these movies uh, Child's Play I remember was a big one um, they had like Chucky's head on this desk and it was absolutely hysterical and I just loved it we were, so, we were shown how special effects work you know how to you know sort of make it look that you're cutting someone's arm and blood spurting out and it was great and one of the special effects that they showed was the defibrillator scene from the thing and I was just blown away by what I had seen I was horrified and yet mesmerized by the effect and yeah it's it stayed with me for a long long time watching that that sequence um, I think I, I remember coming out of the um, the studio afterwards and just being like what have I just seen uh, it just stuck with me for so 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 long and then when I was about 15 I actually saw the film and if I'm honest the first time I watched this movie I didn't like it I didn't connect with it I didn't get it and later on I've really sort of appreciated what a masterpiece this movie is kind of like how most audiences towards this movie have, 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 have sort of really grown to love it and really appreciate it because I know when it first came out it wasn't the masterpiece that we all know it is today but yeah that sequence from my childhood stayed with me for years and it was just phenomenal um, now looking back on it it was just absolutely superb so that was pretty much my is, is going to be my next pick so that was John Carpenter's The Thing 
So coming up next is um, I'm going with a Brian De Palma movie. Uh, I'm going with Scarface. Um, so yeah, this to me um, triggers a sort of a memory of when I was younger. I think I was about nine when I when I saw this. Um, I didn't see it in full. I only saw about the first hour or so. Uh, I, I love the movie now. I think it's spectacular. But growing up, I watch, remembered watching this this uh, series of specials that BBC were producing. Um, they were looking at a, a year um, from a certain decade, and the year in question was 1983. And it was talking about all these movies that came out, the music that came out, what was on TV. And after the show, they played a movie. Um, after each show they do, they play a movie from that year, and 83 was Scarface. So I remember saying, that sounds like a cool movie. I'll, 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 I'll try and watch that and see what it's all about. And I was watching it and I was thinking, okay, I was tuning in and out of it and I came back and it came to the sequence in Miami where um, the, the, you know, Al Pacino's character was going into this, 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 this room in this little flat and this sequence had me riveted and it had me hooked. And this is one of the movies that I remember burying my face in the pillow at when the chainsaw came out. And what happens um, horrified me. It just scarred me for life. No pun intended. But yeah, it was horrifying and just terrified me to my living soul. It just absolutely did. Um, couldn't get it out of my head for days. It was just one of the scariest things I'd ever seen um, as an eight-year-old. And it took me a long time to sort of rediscover and get into this movie again. I think it was about 15 before I watched it again. And again, didn't really like it in full after watching it. And then, as I've gotten older, something that just resonated with me. So, these movies seem to have just planted seeds when I was just really, really young and didn't really get to get to appreciate them. But as I've gotten older, these are just absolutely superb movies. And yeah, this was one of the ones where it was just that this sequence just absolutely terrified me and it was one that stuck with me um, forever. So, yeah, that's going to be my next pick, Brian De Palma's Scarface. Coming up next is uh, a Paul Verhoeven movie. I've got two Paul Verhoeven movies on this. One's higher up than the other one. Uh, um, but this one I'm going with Arnold Schwarzenegger's Total Recall. Um, yeah, this is one of those movies where the violence in it absolutely horrified me. Uh, um, everything from like the opening sequence where he's in his astronaut suit and his, his, his helmet cracks. It, 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 it just scared the living shit out of me. Um, it really did um, just yeah as this movie goes along it's a sci-fi classic and I just think it's absolutely superb the setting of Mars is just absolutely brilliant the villains are just so relentless and ruthless and you just absolutely love them Ronnie Cox and Michael Ironside are just a great partnership in this movie and yeah like I said the violence was really the star of the show for me and what really really stuck out it would just absolutely was horrifying and I've learned that with more of Verhoeven's movies about how relentless and how unstoppable his violence is in movies and I wouldn't have them any other way um, yeah it was just one of these movies that I probably saw when I was about 8 and I just really really dug its violence I just thought it was spectacular um, so yeah that is Total Recall Next up was a movie I watched on Channel 5. Now, I owe a big, big thank you to Channel 5 growing up as a kid because that channel introduced me to so many cool horror movies like The Hitcher, Gremlins 1 and 2, um, even the sequel to this movie I'm going to be talking about, which is Fright Night. And, <clears throat> yeah, this is a movie that I grew up with, um, again, watching on Channel 5. I sought out the DVD soon after watching it. And yeah, I although I don't find this movie particularly that scary, uh, I love everything about it. Um, it's setting, it's characters, it's music, it's its story. Um, it really, really showed me how good movies can be. This this movie, and I just absolutely dug it so 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 much. It's one of my it's my favorite vampire movie of all time. It's one of my favorite horror movies. Even though, like I said, I don't particularly find this movie scary, 
but what it does and what it sets up is just absolutely brilliant. Um, I, I, I just I can't really put into words how much I love this movie. Um, yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic. It's a childhood staple of mine. It's one of the most rewatchable movies I think I've ever watched in my collection. I've just put it on and, and I've never ever got tired or bored of it. It's a very strange one. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a fantastic film and I just absolutely love it, everything about it. I can't really praise this movie enough and seeing it at such a young age, I still find it absolutely fantastic even to this day. So yeah, I just remember seeing it and coming into school and some kids I went to school with had seen it as well and we were talking about it and yeah, it was just it was just that type of movie that I saw at the perfect time, I think. So yeah, that is Fright Night. So coming up next to me is I'm going with the whole franchise because I I um, remember collecting these on on VHS and I think my good buddy Mike over at Cinema Axeman would say exactly the same thing. Um, because we both sort of went around hunting these movies on VHS, so I'm going with the Nightmare on Elm Street series of films. Now, the ones I'm 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 going to sort of highlight are the first three in particular. Like I mentioned before about Channel Five showcasing all these horror movies to me, same goes again for Nightmare on Elm Street, particularly the third one, um, which is probably my second favorite out of the franchise. I think the first one's my favorite, but yeah, I just dug these movies. I remember collecting them and. For the life of me, we couldn't find the first one on VHS. And my mum was friends with the guy who worked at the video store at the time, so we rented the first one. And he was like, "Wow, you're gonna let him watch this?" And and my mum was like, "Yeah, he loves them." Um, so I put it up, put it on, and the first one was actually one of the scariest movies I've seen. There's two scenes in it that stick out to me, uh, both of which involve Tina, um, one of the main characters in the movie. But I won't dare spoil which scenes. In this video, um, but yeah, it was just enlightening to sort of get involved into horror franchises and find out what they were about in the slasher movies. And I grew up as well with Friday the Thirteenth and Halloween. Um, but yeah, this one for me was probably my favourite one. Um, I loved the creativeness of the third movie in the direction that it took. Um, I don't mind the second one. I think the second one's all right. It gets a lot of hate, but. Um, yeah, it was just the first and third movie to me just were the ones I absolutely resonated with and gravitated to towards the most. And yeah, they're just absolutely spectacular movies. So yeah, that is the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Um, so coming up next is um, a movie that I, I hold a special place in my heart with this movie because it's my dad's favourite movie of all time. And that is A Clockwork Orange. Um, so the history of this movie with me was pretty much uh, I saw this movie when I was nine years old and it was uh, I remember going into blockbusters at the time and seeing this movie the VHS of this movie plastered all over the wall um, I thought oh this must be a new release or something that it's 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 you know um, a new movie that I haven't heard of so I went in with my dad and my dad was like right okay we're gonna re I'm gonna rent this and watch it because um, it was his favourite movie of all time and then I found out further on down the line that Stanley Kubrick had actually passed away just before and I know Stanley Kubrick had pretty much taken the movie out of circulation and it had become commercially available again so that was why there was just so many of these, these copies on this wall and yeah so we, we, we took the movie home he watched it alone on his own and he let me sort of see part of it and not knowing about what the movie was about or anything like that uh, I was just kind of in awe of this movie just like this is such a strange and surreal film and it's nothing like I've ever seen before um, he wouldn't let me watch the rape scenes in it of course for good reason he would fast forward through those um, but for the bulk of it you really do you know I still got the gist of the movie and I was just sort of blown away by it, about how this 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 th th like little evil prick of a thug get, gets caught, put into prison. This new rehabilitation program is, is meant to put him on the right path, but does it? And yeah, it was just an absolutely mesmerising movie to behold, and 
I, I think I was way too young to see it. Way too young, but um, it was just a phenomenal experience. I wouldn't change anything about it. It's just an absolutely superb looking masterpiece of a movie. And yeah, it's just that's really my memory of seeing it for the first time. Um, I've seen it many, many times since, and I just think it's a superb film, and it's one of my favourite Kubrick movies. So yeah, that is A Clockwork Orange. So next up, um, the final three movies that I'm going to talk about. This is the Paul, other Paul Verhoeven movie I was on about, and I saw this movie when I was eight years old, and that is the first Robocop movie. Um, this movie is nothing shy of a masterpiece to me in um, today's realm of movies I think it still holds up you, you could say some of the effects don't uh, I absolutely get that but for the time I think they, they, they're, they're still a bit ropey but yeah for the time I see past that and you know that's the best way to approach this movie I think um, I was 8 years old when I watched this movie for the first time I remember it being advertised on TV so we, we recorded it and uh, I, I, I sat down to, to watch it one night after school and I had to turn it off because I just it traumatised the living shit out of me um, there were three scenes in particular in this movie that absolutely horrified me to the core and the Ed 209 malfunction the death of Officer Murphy and the toxic waste death and these these s scenes showed me the full potential of what movies could be and what movies could do um, they just absolutely horrified me um, to live in court and I wouldn't have had it any other way I would have seen Robocop when I was 8 and, and, and be traumatised by those scenes all over again because it really really did make me appreciate this movie um, yeah it was just hor horrific and like I say I wouldn't change anything about this movie it's just absolutely superb I love how unapologetic this movie is with it's violence and it just is a brute for force of nature with it. It just doesn't hold back. It's in your face with it. It's over the top, and it's just absolutely superb. It's it's one of the best movies I've ever seen, RoboCop, and it is just. I know there's a lot of people out there who would agree with me. It is just a fantastic film, and again, I would, as an eight-year-old, watch this movie again and go through that trauma again. Um, and yeah it's just absolutely superb and brilliant I can't really say much more than that so yeah that is the first Robocop so coming up next these are like the two the, these two movies are, are, are two horror movies that I saw way too young and these movies terrified me to the core one of these movies in particular I'm going to leave it for my first pick I still have difficulty watching today because it just it still horrifies me um, but yeah the the next movie I'm gonna go with is The Exorcist uh, I was 12 when I saw this for the first time and I remember thinking I knew about this movie's reputation I knew it was um, you know it was it was classed as like the scariest film of all time and this was the one movie that my mum would never let me watch um, even as an eight-year-old, I remember I remember seeing the movie and I was like, oh, I want to watch it. Nine-year-old, want to watch it. No, you're not watching it. Ten years old, I want to watch it. No, you're not watching it. So when I got to 12, my mum finally caved and was like, yeah, okay, you can you can see it if you want to. Um, because I think my parents knew how much I was into film and they, they, they knew I'd seen horror movies before. Um, and, yeah, they... Um, we sat down, a bunch of us again, Cinema Axeman, and a couple of us, of my friends from school, we sat down and watched this movie, and I remember thinking, okay, scariest movie of all time, do your worst, show me what you've got. And I remember watching it thinking, this wasn't what I expected the movie to be. And yeah, it's we got about halfway through the movie, and the crucifix scene happened, and I was done. I was, I was like, I am out of this, I am not, coming back to this I don't want to I'm out um, yeah that was that was enough for me absolutely terrified me I remember it like it was yesterday watching that scene and yeah I was I, I, I checked out I was horrified I couldn't sleep that night um, I was just I was petrified 
and the next morning we actually finished the movie uh, i was just like yeah okay let's let's watch the rest of it and the sec- the rest of the movie just didn't seem to scare me as much as that one scene and it took me 10 years to go back to this movie and i remember watching it with a friend from university and uh i loved it i just thought it was a superb film really really got into the story um but yeah it was just such a traumatic experience at at, at 12 which it probably would have been for most kids um but yeah as i say this movie is is it's a it's a horror film second and it's a movie first you know it really does have those horror elements in it that you would expect but at the heart and soul of this film is a really really good solid solid story and a good solid film you know it's 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 real test of father caro's you know faith in this movie and I just absolutely love it. I love the, the way this demon messes with him and just plays with him. And like I say, it tests his faith. And yeah, you have you have the the demon stuff. You know, it's there, and it is. I still do find it scary, and I do think the effects still hold up. But yeah, it's it's a solid movie first, and it's just absolutely brilliant. So yeah, that is my number. Of, well, my second choice for the you know an 18 rated movie that had an effect on me growing up i'm going with the exorcist so that leaves me with my number one pick um now i saw this movie when i was seven and growing up at that time it was all i was i was in very much a sort of you know like a a a disney realm at the time used to seeing things with happy endings and um this movie i'm just going to get into it it's george romero's dawn of the dead um i remember seeing a special on tv with simon Pegg talking about this movie and i didn't know what it was called and i just remember seeing these these people with blue blue face paint getting pie smashed in their faces and i was like i need to see this movie um i must have been about six when i saw this special and I was like, I need to see this movie. I need to give it a, need to hunt it out and watch it. And then, you know, a year later passes. My dad says, "Oh, Evil Dead's on TV. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tape it." And he got confused with the title of the movie, so he he, t- he tapes what he thought was Evil Dead. Turns out it was Dawn of the Dead. And I then watched it on my own. And I was like, "This is this is that movie I, I saw last year, um, a special too." And I was like, "Yeah, this is the movie. It takes place in a mall. There's all these zombies. This is that movie. Oh, I'm gonna sit and finish and watch this this film." And there's nothing in this movie that particularly scared me at the time. I remember watching it in full. I didn't want to turn it off at any point. Watching it, even like the sort of cannibalistic scenes towards the end, uh, I was completely riveted by the characters in the movie. Um, and then the movie finished and that's when it hit me and that's when it really sort of traumatised me is this movie doesn't doesn't really have a conclusive end it's just left this, they just, they, you know the survivors leave this situation and it horrified me the, the ending to this movie because things weren't wrapped up things, you know, it it didn't feel conclusive enough for me and it just because it was so left open not in terms of the in terms of the zombies more so than the characters it just really really didn't sit with me right at all and i just yeah i just couldn't couldn't really stomach this movie um on rewatch um it was just really really difficult but yeah um that's my number one pick it was just so horrifying to me and it's so i have to mentally prepare myself to watch this movie um you know whenever i come around to it it's not a movie i watch a whole lot whole you know very often but i do still enjoy it. i do think it is a masterpiece it's a 10 out of 10 movie for me and yeah it's just it's just a superb movie and it's just an important 18 rated movie from my childhood that i will never ever forget and i'll never forget this movie what it what it did and what it's it's effect that it had on me so that is the the most influential 18 rated movie on my childhood dawn of the dead so yeah um i hope you've enjoyed the video guys i'm gonna leave it there 
and just say thanks very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.